What if I tell you that you could cover twice as much in half the amount of time and be much more effective than usual? Yes, today I'm going to present you with those 10 best scientifically proven study tips that will help you crack wonders in your exams. Watch this video right till the end because we've got the three more effective and wonderful bonus tips. But before I give you those 10 study tips, remember to press that red color subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. Here goes the amazing tips. You can do it. Yes. Tip number one, why for yours friendly. Research has shown that studying with someone or a group of people will increase your ability to learn more effectively. So start discussing the step to that math problem or maybe the accounting concept or even the structure of the budget in your economy with your friend. But I'm gonna put in a little word of caution out here. Make sure that you find a similar and like-minded friend with whom you and they enhance each other's learning. Tip number two, O for omit. Omit using those mobile phones or any other electronic devices for calculations as you might end up with scrolling through your social media posts, stories or status or whatever it may be. Also, try to put your phones on silent so that you may not get distracted through this sound. Even if you want to really refer through for your studies, then before starting up your work, set up blocks for those apps that may distract you. Tip number 3. You for use flashcards. Research has proven that visual learning has three times powerful impact than usual way of it. It also enables us to remember things easily for a longer period of time. Adding in diagrams, flowcharts, mind maps and things like so serves additional for this purpose. So start showing your artistic skills to make sure your notes are more effective. Tip number 4 C for create a schedule. Creating a schedule ensures to increase your productivity by outlining actually what you need to do and when so. It also helps in time management and reduces your stress thereby increasing your ability for better scores. Tip number 5. Analyze yourself. This is a brief note to discuss about. Analyzing yourself means trying out various ways of studying, various methods of it and finding the one that best suits you. For example, to get thorough in a chapter, read through the chapter as whole for two days, entire chapter two times. Then test yourself on the third day whether you're able to remember it or not. After this, you may try out reading one page a day but making it thorough. The same way for next three days or until you complete your chapter on the whole. After this, once again give yourself a test and find which way is better for you to retain the memory. Make sure that you are not by hearting any concepts. You need to get it yourself by understanding it thoroughly. Here we have part 2 of tip number 5 that is A for acronyms. It is how we remember the colors of the rainbow through a word called whipture abbreviating each color. In the same way, create acronyms for each of the subheadings or key facts that you need to memorize. Tip number 6. N for notes. This is the most effective and important tip that I want to stress up with. Through all my practice, I found it very much useful and helpful to become thorough in my subjects. Even though I'm not an expert, but still, my recommendation for prepping notes is really worth to believe. To prepare a note, there are a few points to remember. Brief description of my way of note-taking process is on the way to you with four wonderful episodes. So, without wasting any time now, let's move on to the tip number seven, that is D for doubt sheet. 
Doubt sheets are the most effective ways to get thorough in a concept. Getting doubts are as important to prove that you are going deep into the concept. So always try to have a mini notebook or something like so. It may just be a paper itself in which you can record your anytime rising doubts. Find time for getting them cleared through any source like from our teachers or friends or even through an internet web page. Tip number 8. O for organize a study space. Researchers have proven that the mind gets adapted to an area by way of what work you perform there. So have a designated study space. For example, it may either be your study table or just a corner of your room or even on the bed but only if you are not used to sleep in it. Even on the bed, if you constantly engage yourself in studying, then whenever you go there, your mind feels for reading. But if you are a person who sleeps on bed, then don't ever try to study over there as your mind is tamed to sleep for that place. Tip number 9. I for information variety. Learn the same piece of text in various ways that you can. Research has shown that different media stimulates different parts of the brain and the more we engage in multiple media, the more we engage in whole brain thinking, thus increasing the chances of understanding and retaining a concept. For example, on a particular day, go through the lines of your textbook. The next day, get through your handmade notes. Third day, you may allot it to revise through a YouTube video and then the following day by practicing the diagrams, equations and things like so. The following day may be given for sources of material available online or offline. At last, give yourself a test in it to make sure that you are thorough in the concept from tip to toe of that particular text. Tip number 10. T for teach. This once again is my personally more effective tip that I want to suggest. After you are done with reading a text and understanding the concept, teach it to someone like to your parents or to your friends or your teddy bear or it might just be the best friend of everyone, the wall. By this way, you can check how much thorough you are in a particular concept. So these are the 10 scientific study tips that I came across, hoping it to be useful for me as well as for you. For those who have been patiently watching till the end, here goes the 3 bonus tips. Bonus tip number 1. Music. Yes, you heard me right. This may sound a little weird, but through my experience, I really found it working. The important thing is to listen to a music without lyrics that are calming in nature. By this way, you are protected from the outside noises and disturbances that may distract you and decrease your concentration. Bonus tip number 2. Spread it out. Research has proven that study sessions are most effective in small and short chunks. This is because your brain is better at encoding information into the synapse in short and repeated sessions. So remember, spread it out. Bonus tip number 3. Sleep. This must be the most important and recurring study tip that you can find anywhere. It is because sleep promotes cognition and memory, facilitates learning, recharges out your mental and physical batteries and generally helps us the most out of our days. This helps us stay focused and increases our concentration thereby paving way to the cracking academic performance. Above everything else, stay healthy and reward yourself for all these wonderful accomplishments. As always, Give this video a thumbs if you liked it and share it with your friends who may find it useful. Also, kindly subscribe to our channel so that we'll be motivated to give you more effective and wonderful contents like so. At last, believe in yourself 
and you can do it